Sorry. It's okay. All right. I think now that you are bandaged up, you should be able to relax, rest. And you're taking good care of me like you didn't know why. And I am thankful that I had the surgery. Um, you know, I, I kind of felt like being in Hawaii. It was as, as sad as it was. It was also pretty wonderful. <laughs> Just being together. I understood why you made the decision to die. I, I, I mean, I wasn't comfortable with it, and that's not what I wanted you to do. But it's what you wanted to do, and you. You, you could tell that, and I just kind of felt like I had to honor your decision. I think, I think you were the only one to understand. I mean, if, uh, if it was a good day, <clears throat> and I could do some stuff, we could, we could do it together. You know, and if it was a bad day, and I, and I, I felt too sick and I had to lie around and you kind of just did your own thing and didn't hover. We did have some fun, though, didn't we? God, I remember the super soaker, uh, that big thing, <laughs> and I would always go for your Why hair. Why do you even have to go for the hair? The <laughs> because it's like, a, it's like a bullseye. Why I would I? Oh, but I think the best time ever would just be when we would sit, sit, like this, and talk or not. Is that nice when you don't have to say anything sometimes? Watch the sun. Ugh, simple stuff. Yeah, simple is good. Yes, it is. And then everything had to go and get complicated. Yeah, you were probably sorry that you convinced me to have that surgery at all. I'm not buying. I never wished anything bad would happen to you. Yeah, we made some bad choices. You knew me better than anyone. Which is probably why we we work so well in situations like this yeah, together. Yeah, it's nice that I don't, I don't have to explain everything. No, it's I kind of feel like we're always in sync before all the craziness happens. And then, I don't know, I kind of feel like I, I know what you're thinking before you can even say it. So you're a mind reader. No. No, come on, not like that. It's... What? I know you. I'm gonna work on the car so we can get the hell out of here. Say it. The wiring in your SUV is completely shut out. That's it? Tip. I'm not gonna lecture you. I told you that. You're up and walking around and hurting yourself, and that's what you're gonna do. I mean, how many times did you fall? Uh, I haven't. Well, not all the way to the ground. <sighs> it is getting a little easier with every lap. Huh. I figured you would be doing this, so. I, uh, here I am, checking on you. 
Sorry, you know, because you're gonna ruin all of my hard work. Please tell me you're not bleeding. No, I'm, I'm fine. Okay. Um, I just sit, please. Oh. I think Jerry is kind of stupid <laughs> you know why because he could have really destroyed those cars i mean he, he could have blown them up and then i wouldn't been able to take parts from one part to the next part and make sure that Thank you. 